Hi and welcome to a new video. Have you been getting a notification that your iPhone storage is full? In this video, I'll show you some quick and easy methods to resolve this by freeing up space on your iPhone. Let's go. Unfortunately, the internal storage of iPhone is not upgradable. So, if you receive a warning that your storage is getting full, you have no choice really but to free up space on your iPhone. To check how much storage you have left, open the Settings app. Go to General and choose iPhone Storage. Note that it might take a few seconds for the system to calculate your storage statistics, especially if you have a lot of files. Afterwards, you should be able to determine which file types are taking up most of your space. These categories typically include apps, photos, media files, documents, among others. Since I have a relatively new iPhone, you may notice that the storage shows less usage so far. Another noticeable feature here is the Recommendation section. Enabling any of the suggested configurations under this section can help you to save a lot of storage. I'll explain how each recommendations work later in this video. The next effective solution for optimizing your storage is to either delete or offload rarely used apps on your iPhone. Just below the Recommendations section, you can browse through all the installed apps on your device listed according to its file size from largest to smallest. You can also see when they were last used, which makes it easy for you to identify any app that is rarely used. As mentioned earlier, there are two available options that you can choose. Either offload the app or delete it completely from your iPhone. Deleting the app will remove it from your storage including all of its data. This is particularly ideal for those apps containing data that usually consume a lot of your iPhone storage. On the other hand, offloading an app would just remove the app itself, leaving the data on your device to be immediately restored upon reinstallation. You can use this option if you only want to temporarily remove the app from your iPhone and then reinstall it later on. Additionally, you can also set your iPhone to automatically offload your apps whenever you're low on storage. To do this, activate the Offload Unused Apps option under the Recommendations section. Another factor that may take much of your iPhone storage is an iOS update file on your device. When Apple releases a new iOS update, it can be automatically downloaded to your iPhone when connected to Wi-Fi. If you don't want that because you prefer the existing iOS version, find the installed update amongst the list of apps and delete it to clear some space on your iPhone. Don't worry, you can re-download and install the new iOS update anytime. To update to the latest iOS version, go to Settings, select General, and tap on Software Update. Download and install the update if it is available. Regularly emptying the cache on Safari and other apps can also help optimizing your iPhone storage. Cache files are stored on your browser to improve the performance of your most visited websites. By clearing the cache, you can save megabytes of data on your iPhone. To clear the cache on your browser, locate Safari on the Settings main menu. Then, scroll down and tap on the Clear History and Website Data button. Keep in mind that this causes you to be logged out on any websites that you have signed into. As mentioned earlier, another option is to clear the cache on the apps that you often use. On some apps like Snapchat, emptying the cache is available in the settings within the application. For your other apps, you may also check each of their settings to see if there is an available configuration for clearing the cache files. Otherwise, the only way to clear the cache of an app is to reinstall it. Whenever you delete photos on your gallery, they're automatically stored for a 30-day period within the recently deleted folder in your Photos app. Although the deleted photos will be totally erased from your device after the grace period, it may still be better to remove them all manually so that you can save on space instantly. The following step is very important, particularly if you enjoy taking high-quality photos with your iPhone, which can consume a lot of storage. Thankfully for that, you can enable the high-efficiency mode on your camera so that each captured photo will take less space without affecting the image quality. To do this, open the Settings app and navigate to Camera. Tap on Formats and enable High Efficiency. 
In addition to that, I recommend enabling iCloud Photos on your iPhone to store your files in the cloud rather than using up space on your device. This is probably the most effective method because photos and videos take a lot of storage. So, return to the Settings main page. Tap on your Apple ID and go to iCloud. Choose Photos and then make sure that the toggle to enable the sync is activated. Also, activate Optimize iPhone Storage. Once enabled, all of your images and videos will be stored in reduced quality on your phone, but the original resolution will be maintained in the cloud. This way, the original and full resolution version of the photo will be downloaded whenever you open it. Of course, make sure you have enough iCloud storage if you prefer to store everything in the cloud. If you're interested in upgrading your iCloud storage, you may check out my video in the tag at the top right corner. Unfortunately, if all methods I have mentioned so far fail to optimize your iPhone storage, then as a last resort, you can reset your device to clean it up more thoroughly. But before you do that, make sure to create a backup first to avoid any loss of data. To learn how to backup your iPhone to iCloud, you can watch the video in the tag at the top right corner. After you backed up your device, go to Settings and select General. Tap on Transfer or Reset iPhone and choose Erase All Content and Settings. And that's it. If I can help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.